Hey YouTube, Florida Outlander back with you. Thanks for watching. Doing something a little bit different, doesn't have anything to do with the pool. I'm actually building something for my son. A few weeks ago I built him a loft bed that I'll show you here in just a few minutes. Um, so today uh, I promised him when I built that bed that I would make him a little step ladder so he can get it up and down easier. Right now he's just using a uh, just a little two-step um, you know, household step ladder that we have. Uh, but it's kind of precarious getting up and down from that bed, so I told him I'd make him a nice little ladder here. Using 2x6 material, I've already got them cut to the right height or the right length that I want. These are the side pieces. I used a 20 degree angle just so it's not straight up and down, makes it a little more comfortable to climb. You can see those um, inch and a half spaces that I've got X's on. I'm going to dado those out about a quarter of an inch deep. So I can put the 2x6 uh, step boards in there. You can see I've kind of transferred them over to this, <clears throat> excuse me, to the second board. So I'm going to finish drawing those lines and then setting my blade depth to about a quarter of an inch and I'll start datoing those out. Well, let's do it guys. Alright, so we've got all the boards cut, we've got it sanded and painted, we're now um, waiting for that last coat of paint to dry, uh, shouldn't take too much longer, uh, as hot as it is today, I've got the fan blowing on it as well. Started with a 100 grit sandpaper, moved up to 150 and then finished it with 220 and I think once the paint completely dries I might go over it again with either 220 or 320. Um, just to knock some of the the rough stuff up. You know, when you sand wood and then paint it, you're adding moisture back into the wood and it kind of makes the wood fibers stand up a little bit. Um, so it becomes a little bit rough to the touch. Not enough to where you're gonna get a splinter or anything like that, but I just wanted a, a kind of a smoother finish. So I might uh, uh, hit that again with either 220 or 320 once the paint dries. But uh, once it dries, I'll get these uh, steps put, in, uh, put together and then mount it on the bed. Stay tuned. All right, so here's the finished product. Ladders put together. And I just used um, two two and a half inch screws per, per step per side, but that's because I dadoed it here. So a lot of the weight is actually sitting on this little ledge right here. If you choose not to, um, there's a piece of dog hair there. Uh, if you choose not to 
dado it like I did and just mount it to the flat side, go ahead and step it up to three or three and a half inch screws and then go ahead and use three or four per side per step just to give it that rigidity. Um, uh, these screws don't have you know that much shear strength so you, you want to use at least three but, but preferably four just in a straight line right here. Um, you can see these don't quite match the paint so um, here in the next day or two I'll go back and I'll cover that with some paint just to make it look universal or uniform. I don't know what I'm saying. It's late. I've had a long day. Um, but yeah, I mounted it to this uh, 2x4 here from the back side. Let me show you that in just a minute. Just use a piece of half inch plywood for the top here. Let's take you underneath. So I've got that 2x4 mounted to the wall. I looked for the, whoop, let's let it focus here. I uh, looked for all of the studs, 16 inches on centered, and you can see I put three screws. These are three and a half inch screws. Uh, remember, you're going through an a inch and a half two by four plus a half inch of drywall. That accounts for two inches right there. And then you want to get as much purchase in that stud as possible. So I used three and a half inch screws, three screws per stud. So this two by four is mounted to that wall. And then so is this one here. So lots of strength there, all right? And then this outside two by four is bolted or screwed to the one that's up against the wall for this, you know, for this corner. So that corner is not going anywhere. It doesn't need a leg here. And then this corner here, instead of putting a leg underneath here and kind of getting in the way, I chose to go with the chain and it's just going up to a uh, one of the ceiling joists. I've got a half inch lag in there, a half inch lag here, and then, then some 350 pound chain. I'm sorry though, this is actually, uh, this is 800 pound chain, to be able to believe it or not, this is 800 pounds. Um, the weak point here is actually this clevis right here. This one that hooks the chain to the the eye bolt, um, this this clevis is rated at I think, what was it, 200 and I think it was like 225 pounds or maybe something like that, close to 200 pounds. And then the, another one up there at the top. Uh, let's see if we can see it. There we go. So this bed isn't going anywhere. And then underneath. 16 inches on center. I've got these other two by fours right here. One, two, three, four. And then the sheet of plywood on top is screwed down to those. Excuse the shadow, the light's behind me. Um, and you can paint this. In fact, I think I'll go back and I'll at least paint like maybe the outside three inches or so. Uh, when the mattress is on here, you know, it covers you know, most of it, and you'll just kind of see a little bit of it. But just to make it look a little bit nicer, I'll probably paint um, just the outside three inches strip of this all the way around on, the, on this side and the long side. It's very sturdy. Um, like I said, this, this bed will hold, comfortably hold, my son and at least one of his friends, most likely two of his friends, and then the others... We'll occupy this little couch down here, and then they can all play Xbox or watch a movie on TV or whatever. Um, but yeah, let's take one more look from the distance here. See if I can get it all in. The top of that bed, the top of that piece of plywood is four feet off the ground, which gives him plenty of room for the, I think the mattress is like 11 inches tall, and that still leaves him a lot of room to sit up, um, you know, get up out of that bed, the one thing I will be adding here shortly is a, a little guardrail that I'll mount to the front right here. That'll sit, you know, maybe like four inches higher than the top of the mattress, just so he doesn't fall out, just in case. He's not really much of a turner at night. He kind of just assumes one position and stays there most of the night, but just in case, I don't want him to fall. That's a four foot drop and his dead sleep. That's not gonna feel too great. But yeah, 
Very simple build, didn't take me long at all. I chose to paint it. You don't have to paint it. You can just leave it, you know, raw wood color. I would recommend just for the way that it looks, I would recommend you sand it down uh, starting with maybe like an 80 grit and then finish, you know, moving through like maybe a 150, a 220, maybe going up to 320. Uh, but you just want to get those like stamps that's on the wood. Uh, just sand those down so you don't see those so it just looks a little bit nicer. And then if you really want to make it look nice, you can come back and and uh, use some wood putty to fill these screw holes here and then sand that down. You can get the wood putty to match the color. This is just regular um, spruce 2x4, you know, which is a really light colored wood. Um, a little bit lighter than this plywood right here is, um, but you can find that wood filler at your Lowe's or Home Depot or Ace Hardware or wherever. Um, but yeah, and underneath here, we've got them a couch. Uh, but you can just as easily put a desk underneath there, uh, some bookshelves, you know, whatever. We've got him a little desk light. You can kind of see it right there. And then in the middle, we mount him to black light, you know, just for... Let me turn that on real quick so you can see. I don't know why it's flashing. Oh, he broke it. Mother of God. It's not supposed to flash. It's supposed to just be on all the time. Anyway. But there it is, guys and gals. Very easy build. Super solid. I mean, I can climb this ladder up and down. I can sleep on this bed if I wanted to. I'm 195 pounds. It's going to hold me all day, all night. It's not going to be a big deal. Um, obviously, when you anchor this thing, you want to make sure that not only... Are you getting it into an actual uh, wooden ceiling joist? Uh, but also up back here against the wall, you want to make sure you're finding those studs and putting those screws right into the studs. Very important. That's where all of your strength is. You're never going to get that kind of strength with just a wall anchor. I don't care. Ooh, why is it not focusing? There we go. You're never going to get that strength in a wall anchor. Alright guys, if you have any questions about this build, any comments, please drop them down below. Um, this bed only cost me probably, uh, I don't know, a hundred and, maybe like a hundred and ten bucks in material, hundred and twenty at the most. That's with a gallon of paint, hell, a gallon of paint, it's a primer and paint combined, I think I paid twenty five for it. You can get it cheaper. Uh, you can also get more expensive paint, but I think for the purpose of this bed, this is plenty. I still have like three quarters of a gallon left. I really could have gotten by with like a quart of paint, I think. Um, I did use plywood, which was about three times more expensive than OSB or oriented strand board. Much cheaper, uh, but it's a little rougher on top. But you can save like 12 bucks by going with OSB as opposed to this... Uh, this plywood. Very inexpensive. Very simple build. Let's get one more shot of this ladder. Very simple build, guys. Nothing fancy. Again, I'm just going to take some paint. I'm going to sand those little spots right here. And then just paint over it. Maybe two coats. Just really just whoosh, whoosh, done. And it'll look really nice. I'll do the same here. I'll get some wood putty. Actually, I've got some wood putty. I'll go ahead and fill these holes with some wood putty all these screws are deep set about maybe an eighth of an inch deep so i'll fill those up paint over it call it a day but again very sturdy not going anywhere very inexpensive diy loft bed 
Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions about this build. Put it in the comments below. If you like what you see, hit the like, subscribe button, and hit that bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I drop my next video. Thanks, guys. Take care. Florida Antlander is out.